Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to more Command Modern Operations. Today we're going to be doing another simple single scenario here, so we're going to start new game and go to standalone scenarios. It is a fairly easy one, and here it is, the Battle of Latakia. The Battle of Latakia was a small but revolutionary naval battle of the Yom Kippur War between Israel and Syria. It was the first naval battle in history to see missile combat and the use of electronic warfare deception. Fought off the Syrian port city of Latakia, the Israelis employed the tactic of letting the enemy fire missiles at maximum range and using chaff and jamming ECM, to defend against them. Once the Syrians ran out of missiles, the Israelis closed in and fired Gabriel missiles at optimum range. This is the scenario we are going to go with today. And here is the situation. A coalition of Arab states led by Egypt and Syria have launched joint surprise attacks on Israeli positions in the Israeli-occupied Sinai Peninsula and Golan Heights territories on Yom Kippur, the holiest day in Judaism. The Israeli Navy has been dispatched to deal with the Syrian Navy. There is believed to be at least two P-4-6 motor torpedo boats armed with torpedoes, Possibly three Komar and Osa missile boats armed with sticks missiles in my area of operations. Friendly forces consist of five Israeli missile boats heading towards the Syrian port city of Latakia. The Gabriel missile has only half the effective range of the Soviet SSN-2 Styx missiles that the Syrians have. This missile has already sunk an Israeli destroyer six years earlier, while the Gabriel has yet to be used in anger. The defenses against the Styx missiles consist of active and passive electronic countermeasures which have yet to be used in any real-life engagements. Should they fail, the boats will be easy targets for the Styx missiles. So we have uh, two strike groups, strike group 1 consisting of two boats and strike group 2 consisting of three. The mission, lure the Syrian missile boats out of port and destroy them. Okay, so that is the rundown of the scenario. I'm going to go ahead and enter it and see you folks on the other side of the loading screen. Okay, here we are in the scenario. I'm going to go ahead and unpause it. We are going to plot courses for group one. They are going to pretty much head due east and group two is going to head northeast like so. We already have a positive ID on a civilian ship here. Yeah, civilian commercial ship. It's a tanker. We have another skunk off here, but I have a feeling this is going to be friendly as well. Uh, most of the enemies will probably come from the port city of Latakia right here. Uh, strike group one will head at full speed. Strike group two will head at full as actually strike group two will head flank. We have radar jamming everything going on now. Let's make sure. Actually, yeah, let's make sure everything's on for all targets, all of our our vessels. Probably don't need sonar on, but might as well. Might as well. Let's increase speed to five times and close in on the enemies here. Okay, this is another merchant ship up to the northwest, so it, we don't really have to worry about it. Looks like it's turning around. That's probably a smart move. Probably a smart move. So we want to get nice and close so we can fire our Gabriel missiles at the enemy. We also we do have guns as well, but I think we want to make good use of our missile platforms. So it looks like each missile boat here has five Gabriel 1 missiles. We have 20, 222 rounds of 12.7 millimeter and 324 rounds of uh, looks like 40 millimeter cannons. And 96 chaff. Perfect. We'll increase to 15 times and continue our search. I'm going to adjust strike group one's course ever so slightly. Like so, there we go. Okay, another skunk, skunk number six, which is an unidentified target, but they quickly identified it as another merchant ship. Ocean Perfect, that is the name of this uh, commercial ship. It's a tanker. 18,000 tons. And this is one cool thing about the game. It has this dat database where you can pretty much go through all sorts of things, like even satellites. So lots of information to uh, sift through in this game. Okay, looking good, looking good. 
And now it's just a waiting game, closing in on the port city and hoping we pick up something soon. Let's go flank speed. We got another skunk, skunk seven, heading down towards us. We've picked it up on radar. Let's adjust strike group two's course accordingly. Two skunks, both coming from the port city. Skunk number nine over here heading southeast. I do not think that's an enemy. Okay. That's a merchant ship. More merchant ships. Okay. They had me worried there. All right, we're looking good. Change course. Another skunk, skunk 10. Okay, this is an enemy. We will decrease time compression and change course as well towards the target. Strike group one will head north as well. Go flank speed. Both ships are increasing. Oh, guess not. We'll go, go flank on uh, 340 there too. Okay. TKP-6, patrol torpedo boat, heading in fast, speed is 44 knots. Okay. All right, let's go flank speed, boys. All right, here we go. So far, only one enemy detected. I'm not too worried about it just yet. We have it on surface search radar. It is hauling ass towards our position. Okay. We'll fire here momentarily. I'm sure we're still out of range. Okay, we can fire our Gabriel missiles. But I want to get closer to ensure a hit. Also, I do want to see how our jamming works. Test that out, but... Okay, engage target, we'll fire. Okay, we're out of range. We're too close to fire our Gabriels now. I guess I should have fired uh, slightly earlier, but we'll fire from another torpedo boat. We'll fire one at the target. Okay, on pause. There you go, missile away. Heading towards the target. Thinking we'll change course as well. Looks like uh, the torpedo boat's turning hard. Let's see if one Gabriel, one missile is enough to sink her. Target destroyed. Perfect. Okay, continue heading towards the port city. Let's find the rest of them. Okay, another skunk, skunk 11, heading this way. This is probably another enemy. Yep, sure is. Another torpedo boat, heading 45 knots, 10 nautical miles out. We'll let them get nice and close as well. They're coming in piecemeal, which is probably not the best strategy for them. But it works out for me quite easily. Manually engage. Hey, we are in range. Um, I won't fire just yet. I'll let them get closer. I do want to see the enemy's fire. This is another torpedo boat, however. It's probably best to fire it now. Want to, we'll fire two Gabriels at it. Two away. And it's turning tail. 
two impacts. Target destroyed. So far, so good. Let's reduce speed. Okay, uh, missile launch. Okay, and we don't have contact on the enemy, which is concerning. Close. Two missile launches. Oh, shit. Okay, well, let's reduce this. So, close and resume. Okay, all ahead flank. Two weapons are heading this way. These two are going to investigate those. Go flank speed, please. Wow. Head towards them. I guess they're facing... Actually, yeah, I maintain this facing. That way, Sea Wiz and everything can hopefully take them out. And our countermeasures will work. We are jamming, so this is the moment of truth. Hopefully, our sensors, our ECM work we're about to find out now they have my full confidence uh i hope there's nothing else i can really do about it so we're gonna find out closing in rapidly going 660 knots just skimming the surface at 800 feet Looks like they're going for the Hannet. Okay. Do something. Please? Okay, they're firing. Uh, okay. One missile defeated. Oh, it's getting close. Okay. Two missiles defeated. Perfect. Okay, that was that was a little sticky. Another missile launch. Continue. Okay, there we go. We've acquired the the contact. Is it within range? Probably not, huh? No, it is not within range just yet. Two more missiles heading this way. Another skunk. This is probably another Oso One torpedo boat. See, they're gonna be able to shoot these down. Looks like they're gonna miss all together. Yep. Perfect. Ship's going evasive, but another missile launch. Close and resume. They're focusing on this one group. Another missile launch. It's invisual. Let's see, are we in range now? Yep, Gabriel is allowed to fire. Send two her way. All right, two missiles away. Still don't have positive ID on these two flanking ships, but I have a feeling they are not friendly. Keep heading towards the target. Two missiles are coming towards us. Firing, okay. We're fine. And uh, our missiles landed home and destroyed the target. Let's reduce the speed. Another launch. I think this one's going to head south. No, it's not. Wow. Engage target. One Gabriel. Fire. A K-40 and Komar. There's two of them. I doubt this is in a man range. No, it is not. Not just yet. Okay. Another launch. Wow, they are not very happy. Okay. We have missiles heading their way. Is number two in range here? It is. We'll fire one more. 
This one would be far, but let's go ahead and do it. Thankfully, our countermeasure seemed to be working very well against these Styx missiles. Looking good. Okay, this Gabriel setting towards target. Let's see if we get it. Those other sticks missiles are still, still have a while to go. Impact. Target destroyed. One more left. I don't know if there's any more uh, enemy vessels out and about. Right, these other six missiles are getting pretty close, however. It is cause for concern. destroyed okay evasion is beginning looks like these missiles are being jammed they're just continuing straight gas here is trying to shoot them down same with hamming it i would just let them fly on by our sensors are being definitely being disrupted here they're no real threat now Perfect. Let's keep heading towards Latakia. See if there's anything else we can uh, engage. And these other torpedo boats can keep heading northeast as well. And we'll increase time compression. Looking good. Still lots of uh, merchant ships out and about as well. Overall, we definitely came out on top of that engagement. This one um, SAR-2 class motor torpedo boat is running pretty low on Gabriel's though. Okay, another contact. Head north, flank speed. Don't want uh, group one to get all the glory. Group two can haul ass into position. Not sure why this one's only sitting at 20 knots, not going flank speed. Oh, there we go. Getting pretty close to the target. Okay, slow down, we'll fire one from each ship, I think. Yeah, one Gabriel. There we go, two away. Mine countermeasures ship. MTT-43. I don't think this thing is going to pose much of a threat. We'll, we'll launch at it in any way and clean it up. Okay, it's going evasive, but too little too late, I expect, here. Alright, target destroyed. 
Oh, there we go. Actually, that was it. The scenario is concluded. Now be presented with an evaluation of your performance. And here we go. Expenditures. We launched nine Gabriel one missiles. And it looks like we, these are all the guns and uh, chaff we used for evasion. The Syrian Navy lost all of their boats. So we ended up sinking six enemy vessels and they fired eight sticks missiles. No civilian ships were damaged in the engagement. Okay, well, pretty cool. Hope you all enjoyed it. There's another scenario I'm thinking of doing where you kind of have to hunt for Soviet submarines trying to break out into the North Atlantic. I think that would be quite interesting and I started playing it. It's a pretty long scenario, so it'd probably be a multiple episode affair, but I think that would be cool. I'm really enjoying Command Modern Operations, so hope you are too. Thank you all for watching. As always, this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I will see you all on the next one.